guys, it's Pat. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. One of the most highly requested videos on my channel. And okay, I don't want to make it sound like I'm boastful. But honestly, I get a ton of messages from you guys asking me how I edit my videos. Instead of showing you that, however, I decided that it would be best to share some free video editing software first before we get into the editing part. Of course, before you start editing your videos, you have to identify which software you intend to use first. I think that's one of, if not the most important part in the entire video editing process because the effects, the transitions, and the animations you create in your video Videos heavily depends on the features of your video editing software. I've also realized that because our lives basically revolve around online classes and working from home now, most of our outputs are videos, animations, videos, and videos. And I think it's really frustrating that some students are not able to create the output that they want simply because they don't have any idea of any video editing software that they can use. If they found a video editing software, however, some of these have hidden charges that they need to pay just to export the video or just to remove a watermark. And let's be honest, not all students have the resources and the means to pay for these software. So in today's video, we're gonna get that problem out of our way and I'm gonna share four completely free video editing software that you can use. By the way, I just want to mention a disclaimer that I'm in no way a professional video editor and most of the knowledge that I'm gonna share in this video are those that I've learned from my past editing experience. Speaking of learning the art of editing, this video is actually sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 27,000 creative and inspiring classes where individuals come together to cultivate their careers and creative minds. Skillshare offers thousands of classes ranging from animation, film and video production, graphic design, illustration, and a lot more. Each of their classes combine video lessons and class projects to foster an environment for discovery and creativity. With Skillshare's premium membership of less than $10 a month with with annual subscription, you can have access to Skillshare's inspiring classes with no ads. Lately, I've been interested in Nathaniel Drew's Creativity Unleashed, which talks about determining your value as a creator, overcoming your insecurities, and learning to evolve your work as you grow. I think that this is central in video editing because these are important aspects of yourself as a creator and as an editor that you want to integrate in your work. In fact, the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in the description box will get the free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you you can follow wherever your creativity takes you. Again, thank you so so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so before making this list, I had a checklist, a criteria if you will, of features that should be part of or at least I look for in each video editing software. So every software on this list is available on both Windows and Mac, completely free with no hidden charges, no watermark, and has all the essential features that you need in video editing. This includes adding video clips, trimming them, adding effects to them, adding transitions, adding text, adding audio clips, and exporting. So in each video editing software, I will show you guys what they are, what their features are, and I will also show you a small snippet of how to edit with each video editing software. If you're interested in trying out any one of these software, all the links are available in the description box below. The first software on my list is Lightworks. Lightworks has a simple and intuitive interface, so I think this is perfect for a lot of beginners trying out the basics of video editing. I think it's also worthy to mention that Lightworks is optimized for speed so you can import, render, and export your videos without delay. Lightworks also has a variety of features ranging from trimming clips to adding text and to adding effects on your clips. So Lightworks has four tabs, Log, Edit, Visual Effects, and Audio. Log is where you can find all the clips that you want to use in your videos. Edit is where you can build your entire video, so this is where you can trim and rearrange your video clips. The Visual Effects tab is where you can basically customize the visual content of your entire your video. This includes titles and color correction. Audio is where you can adjust your sequence audio levels and apply audio effects. The next software on my list is Shotcut. Shotcut is an open source cross-platform video editor that offers extensive audio editing options. If you're looking for software to practice the basics of video editing, I think Shotcut is already great for you because one of the best features of this software is its simplicity, which I think a lot of beginners can make use of. So Shotcut has three main areas, the control, the viewer, and the timeline. In the control area, there are three tabs, the playlist, which is where you import your videos, the filters, which is where you can choose from a wide array of video effects to add to your clips, and the properties, which basically provides you all the information about your clips. In the viewer area, there are two tabs, the source, which allows 
you to watch or view your clips before adding it to the timeline and the project which allows you to watch the entire video you edited. The timeline is where all the magic happens. This is where you add, edit, and trim your video and audio clips. What's great about Shotcut is it provides you the toggle snapping feature. When toggle snapping is turned on, the clips that you add on your timeline will snap directly to certain points. So let's try adding a few clips to our Shotcut project. Again, Shotcut prides itself of simplicity so you can just drag a bunch of your clips from your folder directly onto the playlist area. Once you have these clips on your playlist, you can just simply drag that onto your timeline for editing. If I add another clip on my timeline, you can see how it snaps to the clip beside it, so I don't have to worry about having that blank space in my video. You can also simply drag the start and end of each clip to trim them. When you select the clip on your timeline, you can go to the Filters tab to browse through the different effects that you can add to your clips. Some of these are presets and some of these are customizable. If you want to add overlays to your videos, you just have to right click on your timeline and add video track. Now this adds another layer to your timeline because if you don't, your videos are just going to be edited on one layer. Now you can also add text on your videos by going to the filters tab, typing in text, and adding that directly onto the clip that you have on your timeline. The default text is a time code, but of course, this is also customizable. You can change the text to let's say vlog. You can also change the font color, you can change the font itself, and you can also change the size and position of the text on your video clip. The next software on my list is HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express may feel a little advanced at first because it offers professional grade video editing tools, but I think if you're looking for a software to up your game in video editing, this is great for you. So HitFilm Express has four main areas, the trimmer, the viewer, the control, and the timeline. The trimmer is where you can watch your clips before for adding it to the timeline. The viewer is where you can watch the entire video you edited. The control is where you can import clips, browse through effects, and also customize your clips. And of course, the timeline is where you edit your videos. So let's try adding a few clips on our media panel. Now, most of the video editing tools are found on the left side of your timeline. So let's say we add a clip on our timeline. If you want to trim the clip, you can easily do that by dragging the start and end of each clip, or you can also use the splice tool on the left to split your clip into certain sections. You can also change the speed of the clip using the rate stretch tool, so if you drag the clip shorter, it will play the clip on a faster rate. If you extend the clip, it will play it on a slower rate. You can also change the opacity of the clip by dragging this white line. And if you want to add keyframes to change the opacity on certain sections of the clip, you can also do that. When you select the clip on your timeline, you can browse through several effects on the effects panel. You can also customize your clip on the controls panel. So this allows you to change the position, the scale, rotation, and a bunch of other aspects of your clip. HitFilm Express also has a history panel, so this displays all the edits that you did on your clips. You can also add text on your clips by clicking the text tool on the viewer panel, and if you want to customize your text, you can just go to your controls panel, text, and you can choose from a bunch of edits here. The last software that I have for you is DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is actually my favorite on this list because it combines professional editing, color grading, visual effects, motion graphics, and audio post-production. So you can literally create any project that you want with this software. So DaVinci Resolve has six workspaces. Media, which is your library of clips. Cut, which is where you can do your basic editing. Edit, which is where you do the bulk of your editing. Fusion, which is where you can customize the visual content and motion graphics of your video. Color, which is where you can color grade and color correct. Fairlight, which is where you can edit your audio clips. And Deliver, which which is for exporting. So let's start by importing a few clips on our media workspace. All you have to do is right click on your media pool, import media, and you can select which clips you want to edit. After importing your clips, you can go to the cut workspace to trim down certain sections of your clips 
but I prefer going straight to the edit workspace to do all the raw edits. With your edit workspace, you can just drag your clips from the library over here down to your timeline. Similar to the other editing software that I've mentioned on this list, you can view your clips before adding it to the timeline on this area over here, and you can watch the entire video you edited on this area. You can also customize your timeline, so if you just want to see the thumbnail on the start and end of each clip, you can do that. If you want to remove the thumbnail, you can also do that. So once you have customized your workspace to your preferred format, you can start editing your clips. You can trim your clips by dragging the start and end of each clip or you can also use the blade tool to split your clip into certain sections. There are also a bunch of other editing tools here that you can use to edit your clips. Now, if you want to add b-rolls or overlays on your clips, you just have to right-click on your timeline, add video track, and you can just simply drag the clip that you want onto your timeline. Now, all the effects, transitions, and titles are found on the effects library. So let's say you add the basic title on your timeline. If you double-click on your text, it will display all the tools that you can customize for for your text. This includes drop shadow, stroke, background, and a lot more. Aside from text transitions and effects, you can also color correct and color grade your videos on DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve offers an extensive number of tools that you can use to color correct your videos to your preferred format. All the features on DaVinci Resolve are more detailed and thorough than the other video editing software that I've mentioned on this list, and I can also say that this is similar to other paid video editors. So I think if you're looking for the best all-in-one video editing software where you can learn from the basic to the most advanced edits, DaVinci Resolve is perfect for you. So those are all of the video editing software that I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for sticking around. You guys are the best and I will see you in my next one.